Hey, hey there, just an update on what's going on today. I've really thoroughly cleaned out the floor, cleaned it with like, you know, vacuuming it and everything up, all the dust and all the debris particles. To get it ready to be primed, I'm gonna prime it just to seal it for water, um, prevent uh, mildew um, and mold. So I'm gonna do that before I start framing the bottom for flooring for um, insulation. And I'm going to be using um, foam board and um, one by fours um, to frame the bottom of the bus. It's a little bit cold today. It's unusual to have this cold weather here in Texas. I might not be able to use my primer. I have to check the temperature at which I can use. It might be too cold today, but nevertheless, I will get started. So I had to go back to Home Depot because so I started to put the primer on the first layer and I ran out. So I gotta go back, get some more. All right, I have put down at least one coat of the primer. This is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna let it dry and then tomorrow I will start cutting the wood for the framing and hopefully that will go well. All right, I am about halfway through cutting this foam to fit the spaces that I have. I tell you, it's not even done. It's not even close to being done and it's taken me all day to get this foam, get in the bus, drive it back, cut it. Cutting this foam is no joke, people. And all those tutorials I watched on YouTube, the thing I found was the most helpful was actually drawing a line onto the foam and then using the cutter with the tape measurer and holding it in place and trying to stay on that line. Though you're kind of cutting on a blind line because if you're pulling towards you, you can't really see where the line is. So as you can see, I did not get a perfect fit here, but nevertheless, it looks like it's coming together. I'm gonna have to cut this down more because there's actually these, um, see the foam goes everywhere. There's actually these circular bumps under there that are not allowing the foam to be flush with the floor. So I'm gonna have to cut that further. And then, yeah, got two more panels to go and this one's odd shaped. Uh, Hopefully I can get that done today. 